Certainly you've seen the ads by now for the Hat Saver Spray. And if there were a competition for sweating from the head, I would be world champion. I go through hats like crazy because of how much I sweat. I stopped buying expensive hats because of how much I sweat. I'll put them through the dishwasher, which I might do in a different video, and clean them up pretty good, but eventually they get ruined anyway. So I figured I would test this out, and if this thing works, then I'm going to go with it. And if this thing works, it's for me. Check this out. Hello YouTube. So I saw an ad on Facebook or Instagram or something like that for this product and I, uh, as a rule, do not buy anything from a Facebook or Instagram ad because I've been burned before. Uh, but this one interested me in particular and I was able to find it on Amazon and I always feel better about buying something directly from Amazon than from a Facebook ad. And the price was the same, including shipping. So um, here we go, let's unbox it. So here it is, hat saver, stop sweat stains. So if you've seen my videos, you know how much I sweat and I'll sweat through the bill of a cap, sometimes by the second hole. I'm looking at those cap liners, but they're, you know, disposable, the ones I've seen anyway, and kind of high priced for disposable dozen hat liners or something like that. So I decided not to go with that, but I'm gonna give this a try. We'll spray down a hat and uh, take it down the course and sweat through it like crazy and then see how it holds up. I'm about to head into Dick's Sporting Goods and buy a new hat. I thought about using one of my existing hats, but they've all been through the wash several times and stuff like that. Thought about using my new Bogey Brothers hat, but on the off chance that this ruins the hat, I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna spend good money on a hat then I'm gonna spray it and we're gonna see how it goes. So this is putting some more risk in because I've been buying cheap hats because I sweat through them and ruin them. So here we go, nice hat for the experiment. I didn't have much in the selection for tailor-made hats and that's what I was looking for. There's, well, there was two down here. I got this one, or I'm getting this one, 32 bucks. Which is a lot of money for me to spend on a hat. I've been spending like 11 to 14 bucks on hats. So I hope this stuff works. All right, so I got the hat. I got the hat saver. Let's apply it. But we gotta take these stickers off. I'm not that kind of guy. Are your stickers on or stickers off kind of guy? Let me know. I gotta take this tag off too. All right, I'm gonna touch up these areas here. It says to wait 15 minutes between applications. So, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. It says to uh, spay, pay special attention to this scene here. So make sure you get that good. So I'm gonna hit that first. Can't really get this area here with while I'm holding the camera. So trust me, I'm gonna pick it up and get that area. So the second application is done. It says let it dry 15 minutes before you wear it, but I'm not gonna wear it right away. When I went to the hat to apply the second coat, I couldn't tell that there was anything on it, that there was any kind of coating of anything on it. So pleased with that. And uh, I'm gonna let it dry. And then tomorrow I've got a round of golf. I'll wear the hat the entire time. See how long it takes to sweat out the bill. 
probably won't be any different or it might be quicker because it's not gonna be absorbed on the top layer. And then let it sit after that and see if we see hat stains. Stay tuned. So I let it sit for well more than 15 minutes. You can't see that there's any kind of coating on it and you can't feel that there's any kind of coating on it. So I don't know, pretty encouraged by this. We'll see how it does tomorrow. All right, so we are out here at the Georgia Club. I warmed up on the range. I don't see any sweat through the hat. It is wet on the other side, underside of the bill completely. There's nothing on the outside, so so far so good. <laughs> sweat through the bill of the hat, but it's holding up well. It is seeping through the seams on the bill a little bit, so that may have just been me not giving a good enough coat on the bill, but either way, I mean, it should be totally soaked by now, and it's just not, so still liking it. All right, so I made my second shot on the ninth hole, and you can see where the sweat is seeping through. So, yeah, I don't know about this stuff. Maybe I just needed to put more on. So it's been several hours since my round, and I did sweat pretty good. And I gotta say, I'm not impressed with how this works. See the salt stains there from the sweat? You can see where the sweat soaked through around the stitching. Again, here around the seams. Also around the back, along the, uh, I don't know what you call that, the collar or whatever. So I got some sweat stains on here. Uh, not calling it bust just yet. What I'll do is I'll take a wet towel and I'll wipe that off, clean it up as best I can, spray it again, concentrate more on those spots, and then try it again. So here's how my hat ended up after my round. It's been a couple of days. I haven't cleaned it off yet. So in case you don't know this trick, it's not much of a trick. It's pretty easy. You just wet the corner of a towel and just wipe off the salt deposits. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wipe this clean and then I'll recoat it with the hat saver spray and see how it does. I have another round of golf coming up later and I'll wear it and see how it goes. So, I got all the salt deposits off. Like I said, I'll let it dry out and then I'll recoat it, paying special attention to this area here and these seams here and this seam here. Also, I guess coat these sides better. So, I'm not giving up on it yet. Just not super confident that it is the end all to stop those sweat stains, but we'll see. All right, so the hat has dried off from where I wiped it with a wet towel. I'm gonna go spray some more hat saver on it. And I'm gonna spray a lot of it on there. Now, I'm not saying this stuff doesn't work because it does to some extent, but I think I sweat more than 10 average people sweat. And it just might not be able to handle how much I sweat. We're gonna put a lot of it on there See if that does the trick. So the hat now, it's pretty well soaked in it. So we'll let it dry out. And then I'm gonna wear it later later today on a round of golf. I'm on my way to play another round of golf after I put another thick coat of the hat saver on my hat. Should be about uh, 90 degrees today, including the temperature and humidity. So not as hot as it has been, but I'm sure I'll still be sweating profusely. So let's see how it holds up. So here's my hat after the second round trying the hat saver spray. I put a lot of product on this last night and still soaking through a little bit up here by the seams, by this seam, a little bit underneath that logo there. It did better with more product on the front, but look at this. 
all over the back. I soaked that pretty good. I soaked that quite good. So at this point, I'm beginning to lose faith in it. But this is a $32 hat and I paid 15 bucks for the hat saver spray. So essentially I've got $47 in this hat. And uh, granted, I sweat more than I think anybody on the planet Earth. At least I sweat more from my head than anybody else on planet Earth. So, you know, maybe it would work for you. Maybe it won't, I don't know. I'm gonna clean this hat up again. And I've got a tournament Sunday. I'll wear it during the tournament. Well, I'm gonna clean the hat up again and I'm gonna spray a lot of stuff on here and see how it goes on the tournament and then check in. That will be my final effort on this product. All right, so I got a tournament tomorrow. I'm gonna give this hat one more chance. Not the hat so much, but the hat saver spray. There's a couple of spots that are not exactly clear of the uh, salt stains. But I'm gonna spray it again. I'm gonna put a lot of product on there. And this time it is on a mold. I use these to clean the hats in the dishwasher. Maybe I'll do a video about that at some point. So the main problem I was having was in these panels here. So I'm gonna spray those down really good and then go over the other trouble spots I was having before. The um, embroidered logo and these seams here, which you can still see there's a little bit of a Discoloration there, which I'm not too happy with. And maybe the problem with the side panels is the button on top. I can't say I didn't get that good. All right, so from what I saw on the ad, is you're not expected to apply that much product to the hat. But this is now my fourth application, and I'm gonna let this dry, and I'm gonna do another application. And if that doesn't do it, nothing will. All right, it is sufficiently dried after my fourth coat of this. I'm going to put another coat on it, and that's going to be it. I'm going to put it on pretty thick. I ran out right at the end. I was gonna coat a couple more hats, but that's it. So this is officially a $45 hat. <laughs> so not happy about that. Let's see if it can hold up with maximum effort given to this product. So here's the hat after my last Two rounds of golf I played earlier and hardly sweat it at all. It was just barely 70 degrees outside, really nice. Got a little bitty sweat stain right there. You can see a little bit around that seam right there. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to say this stuff works. There's only minor discoloration there. Can't really see any here. Looks good to me. So I'm gonna say it works, but put a lot on there. Now I used an entire can on this over the span of uh, four or five applications, which you shouldn't have to do. So do the two applications as instructed, but put a lot on there. Pay special attention to the stitching here, the seam here, these seams here, the button, because all the sweat is gonna has to wick somewhere. It doesn't want to come out the side, but it's gonna try to find a way. 
And uh, yeah, there you have it. It works. And that is a $47 hat that is still intact. So thanks for watching. Uh, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Follow Greg Cortman Golf on Instagram and follow Greg Cortman Golf on Twitter. Thank you. Bye.